Welcome back. Gina Morris joining us on the show this afternoon. She is with the group Kamloops Moms for Clean Air. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Yeah. Have you been on midday before? Uh, just once. Okay. With a Canadian cabaret years ago. Okay. I sang okay. with a group. Yeah. So a different hat today. Yes. Yes. We're talking about uh, the fact that air quality is a huge concern to this group. Uh, you have about 300 members. Tell me a little bit about why you guys formed the group. Well, we wanted to raise uh, air awareness and education in Kamloops. Just basically, um, we started to learn about one type of pollution in Kamloops. A lot of people make arguments, oh, the air is great in Kamloops, oh, the air is terrible in Kamloops. And we, we kind of want to just move away from that debate because people can make um, comments in either direction. What we want to do is focus on one type of pollution that is um, annually always hovering at the top of the provincial guideline. Is that in right? Kamloops. Yep. And that specific type of pollution is? It's fine particulate matter um, air pollution. So it's, uh, it's got a, a, a scientific uh, name that scares people away usually. We say PM, which is the particulate matter, and then 2.5, which stands for the very teeny tiny size that it is. Mm -hmm. um, we, when we tell people about it, we say it's so small that 30 of them can fit across the tip of a hair. So that's how small. You can't, they're all around us, but you can't see them. Mm -hmm. And so depending on what they're made of, they can be really harmful to human health. So you have created a petition with this group. Uh, tell me about this petition and why you want people to sign it. Okay, thank you. Well, it's, um, it's basically based uh, around uh, the upcoming provincial election. We started last summer talking to people about how if we call out to our um, leaders, the upcoming leaders, and if we certainly if we let them know that we're concerned about air quality in Kamloops, specifically on this one type of pollution, uh, that they would uh, take it seriously and take it uh, to their, uh, onto their platform, like to basically make it a, an election issue, mm -hmm. to make it important in the next election. And that type of pollution is vehicles idling. You would like to see people decrease the amount of time that they idle their vehicles. Yeah, there's there's a number of ways that uh, PM 2.5 could be minimized uh, in our in our air shed everywhere. Um, and one that we think is a really great approach, and we teach it to children, and we teach it to people that we talk to. Um, children are great because they'll say, "Hey, mom, switch off your engine." Yes, they <laughs> um, do. And they're they're really good at um, being a messenger to their parents or to the people who drive them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yes, I, I mean, and, and in fact, it's like a win-win-win situation. When you uh, make a pledge to go idle free, what you're doing is you're, uh, with just 10 minutes less idling per day, you can save $200 per year. And people kind of think, well, what could I do with $200 in over five years? You got $1,000 mm -hmm. that you aren't just burning up into the air. Absolutely. So, um, and... Um, yeah, so it's, it's, and for the, the picture of Kamloops as a whole, um, uh, one of the things that we talk about is like the whole of our economy could save $6.5 million per year. What could we do with $6.5 million? Mm -hmm. um, and that's based on um, registered drivers in Kamloops and 10 minutes less idling per day. So how many petition signatures are you hoping to get? And once you think you've gotten enough, what will you do with the petition? Because I know you want the people who are running as MLA candidates in our riding for the uh, May election, you want them to be aware of it. So what will you do with the petition once it's done? So we're hoping for thousands of signers and we're almost at a thousand now. Uh, we have all of these uh, on paper um, signatures plus um, a number online but uh, we're hoping to see that climb um, and ultimately what we plan to do is speak with the candidates bringing to them the numbers of signers and saying that um, we're hoping to hear back from them their uh, opinions on what they think that they could do mm -hmm. as, and once they take if they take um, leadership position. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So we were just showing on the, on the screen there that you can go online to fill out this petition. It's as easy as Googling uh, lead now defend our airshed. So if you do that, as it says there on the screen, you can go on and sign the petition as well. They're obviously in physical form. Where can people find them? 
Well, right now, I mean, we've usually needed to be at sort of tabled events like the farmer's market or um, we were at TRU in the fall when the Welcome Back barbecue happened. Um, and there are a number of places uh, where people are holding these at offices and, and different people who are supporting. Um, I can't think of, I can't say of a physical location mm -hmm. right now because mm -hmm. it's been sort of hit and miss on right. location. Which is why online is the best way probably for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. If you go to Google uh, and type in Lead Now Defender Airshed, you can absolutely sign. Uh, we will look forward to hearing uh, how this goes, perhaps after the election or, or, or as we approach the election. You can check in with us and let us know how the petition is going. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. All right. Quick break. We'll be back with more Midday. Stay with us.